I'd like to call. I'd like to call the November sixteenth Board of Education meeting to order at seven o'clock p.m. Roll call. Chairman Papalotter here. Vice Chair Nasrio here. Secretary Sienna here. Judy Bannon here. Zachary Canada here. Kim Dawson here. Victoria Lanza. So the flag. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Visitors? There's no visitors in this crowd. Is there? Not a one. Okay. Um, Judy, we'd like to welcome you to the board. Thank you so much. We, it's a four-year term, so enjoy. Uh, we have a training coming up in December, which will be exciting, and we have some real work to do with the budget that is after the holidays um, to break you in. <laughs> Sounds good. Congratulations to Kim. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you. Yeah, um, Kim, congratulations. We. Um, you know, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to leverage any one of us on the board. Um, we are happy to help. And Scott has an open door policy um, for our questions, and he's very tolerant of our many emails. Um, and Martha is also, sorry, Martha, but you know what? She will also explain any budget items that um, might cause confusion or you might need clarity on. I know she's done a lot of work um, on the budget since we've all been here to um, increase transparency and basically put it in a manner that we understand um, uh, if we just pick it up, it's real easy to read. So, uh, welcome right. both of you. Congratulations, Kim. It's Thank nice you. to see you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to um, be here. Okay. We're recognizing Teacher of the Year next month, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, where we are now? Okay, then I would like to. Oh, I'm the board will accept nominations for the election of officers um, for chair, vice chair, and secretary, and we will vote accordingly. We will now accept nominations from board members for the office of board chair. And I would like to recommend Shawna Holzer. Second. Mary Roll Call vote. Chairman Holzer. Pass. I'll vote last. Vice Chair Nafrio. Yes. Secretary Sienna. Yes. Judy Bannon? Yes. Zachary Canada? Yes. Kim Dawson? Yes. Chairman Walsh? Yes. We will now accept nominations from board members for the office of, uh, for the board office of vice chair. I nominate Marcia Nofrio. Second. 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 Roll call vote? Mm -hmm. Chairman Holzer? Yes. Vice Chair Nofrio? Pass. Secretary Sienna? Yes. Judy Bannon? Yes. Zachary Canada? Yes. Kim Dawson? Yes. We will now accept nomination. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Yes, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. Just playing catch up. <laughs> We will now accept nominations from board members uh, for the Office of Board Secretary. And I would like to nominate Beth. I will second. Thank you. Roll call. Chairman Walter? Yes. Vice Chair Nafrio? Yes. Secretary Sienna? Yes. Judy Bannon? Yes. Zachary Canada? Yes. Kim Dawson? Yes. Before we move on uh, and do any other board business, I've been asked a couple of questions on why the party of majority has um, the minority party in the vice chair seat. And I thought I'd address it so everybody could hear it from my mouth um, in a public forum. Years ago, when I was first on the board, the board was very tumultuous. And we worked very much against party lines, and we were having a very hard time getting board business accomplished and move forward. Uh, in that time when I became chair, we decided to move in a direction of solidarity and the best interest of our townspeople and of our children and do our votes and our business based on fact and our personal values and the values of our town. Um, so we thought it best that we have the majority party in the chair seat and the secretary seat and that we have a vice chair in the minority seat of whichever party. 
This may not be how it works forever, but this is working for us now. And I'm honestly very, very proud of how we've moved forward with how we do business, how we communicate, how we're able to move forward and debate facts, not attack each other's character, but talk issues. So if anyone has any questions about that, I'm happy to answer them. And I wish honestly more of the country would move in that direction. Well said. Okay. Now we're going to look at committees. So there are. Oh, we can do the committees. Oh yeah, no, we have to do the committees as first. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do the committees next. Everyone should have a list of committee descriptions. All right, guys. So do you want to hear politics or do you want to go? <laughs> What's your homework look like? Oh, uh, I guess we could go. <laughs> As interested as I am. I know. Even better, even better. <laughs> so, um, the annual T Root Fair took place on November 2nd. Grade 8 students visited MBHS during the school day and participated in various activities. Students viewed two videos, one highlighting the school facility and programming, and another that included testimonials from recent MBHS graduates. They also visited a display table staffed by club advisors, coaches, current high school students. Um, a panel discussion also took place involving seniors and freshmen. Mr. Ursa and Mr. Delusia organized the event. Um, I was one of the tour guides. I thought the event went great. Um, a lot of the eighth graders were really interested in the high school, which I thought was amazing. I mean, it's one of the most interesting classes I've seen in a long time. Um, a lot to do with our new school. So. Yeah. Um, we also, NBHS Veterans Day activities were held on November 13th with nearly, fifth, I think it was over 15 veterans actually at the school, 21 veterans. Um, a musical performance was provided, a luncheon for the guests, and roundtable discussions with students took place. Um, so the M MBHS Classroom Cafe will be sponsoring fundraisers this school year once again to offset costs associated with the annual pub publication. And these events occur on Friday evenings throughout the year in the high school cafeteria and are open to current students and their parents are spectators and staff. And students were provided an opportunity to nominate peers for fall student <laughs> awards. And this information was provided during the science classes with students submitting information to school issued email. And the story event will be held on November 22nd to recognize our award winners with parents on site. And then um, for sports, our field hockey team recently won in the state semifinals and are moving on to compete for the state championship again, <laughs> which is great. Um, they're competing on Saturday, 1 o'clock, I think. And then the football team, they, we beat Morgan last week on Friday, and this week we're playing Cromwell. We have a good chance of playing in, um, the, in our, our postseason. So. That's great. Nice. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, then. So, <laughs> Thank you. Just not that I want to, but the football game is where? Oh, this week it's at home on Friday. And what time? 6 30. Okay, right. So, home 6 30. If you have some time tomorrow Go night purple. and you want to come out and cheer on the T Birds, senior night. Senior night. Oh, yeah. For, how many do we have? How many seniors? Six seniors. Six. Yes. I love the pictures out in front of the building, too. Me, too. It's awesome. And then Wednesday you play again? Wednesday, Wednesday we play Wednesday. again. Yeah, we play against Cog and Chuck. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. The, the turkey bowl. Yeah, battle of Route 17, yep. our Thanksgiving game. Okay. And field hockey is 115 at Weathersfield High School mm -hmm. against camp. Two undefeated teams collide. So it's exciting. Wow. This is That'll be a good game. fourth final, a chance for us to win our third uh -huh. state championship. Um, we've been so resilient. We've had a couple of injuries that our Miraculous trainer, Mr. Donahue, has done a great job getting the girls back and back on the field. And winter sports are starting now, so it, it's a busy time, but our kids are really excelling. And I don't want to leave out our volleyball team. They qualified for the state tournament uh, for the first time in 18 Fantastic. years. Fantastic. That's and great. Went to the semifinals, and we're just so proud of all of our teams and their efforts. So That's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Fantastic. Good, Good job, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, now, now you can go. <laughs> Thank you. What's the theme for uh, tomorrow night? Neon. 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 All right. Neon. I think everything I say. Just beware if you see some board members there in some neon. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think will they be surprised? No. No. No, no, no. I don't think so. <laughs>
Um, okay, so back to um, committees. So you're going to see a list of committee descriptions. Everyone have them? Um, and we have some vacancies. So I think we should go through the um, committees that currently have vacancies on them or ones left by previous board members. Um, so why don't we start with curriculum and instruction? There are two open slots. Beth, I assume you continue to stay on it. So there's two open opportunities. Would anyone like to be on curriculum? I'll take one. Second. Second. Okay. Sorry. We, we have <laughs> an open position on policy. Good. I could take it. Great, Kim. Who's coming off a of policy? Yeah, who's coming off? No. We have three, three openings. Oh, oh, There's three openings. Yes. There's three slots and only two people. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go back to curriculum. The board member that was there is off now. Jim, right? Yep. So we had three boxes. Yep. So Zach and Zach I only and Judy. have Beth and Zach. And Judy. Judy. Oh, I didn't hear Judy. Raise I just her shook hand. my head. <laughs> it was acknowledgement. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll stop talking and put Judy's name. <laughs> Good. Thank you. All right. I didn't see it. I'm caught up. Go ahead. Okay. And then we have aces. It's a day committee. Meets once a month. Okay. In I'll do it. You got it? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. thank you. Mm -hmm. And. Did you get a vote? That's a vote. You're a voting member there. Mm. So okay. Vote. I'm sorry, who took on policy? That third oh, slot? Kim. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then communication, which rarely meets. Uh, throw me on there. Okay. Zach, okay. And then we have transportation. Does that, has that ever met? Uh, years ago, we had, years ago, we had a transportation here at one time. Yeah. One time in my 18 years, there was a transportation here in the, and Not in a long time. We don't have. There's I'll, I'll be on transportation. That's like an ad hoc. Yeah. I'll okay. be on transportation since the commitment is so large. Right. <laughs> Thanks for stepping up. Yeah, no problem. So will we get information on this and when we're meeting and? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we'll put everything out now that these uh, Boxes are in and uh, dates, times. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Great. Question. Yeah. Um, our pensioning of the. Um, permanent project, it hasn't really changed. Do we have to be appointed again? I was wondering that. I, I was wondering that. You, I think pension and permanent project, you'll have to be as your town committee. Pension, so, I had to go and get sworn in again. Did you already do it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, if you have to get sworn in again, then you probably have to be voted on again. For permanent project? Yeah. Okay. I would so, think so. Motion to appoint to me. I'm just asking. Yeah, I think we require, it says requires a motion to appoint. Okay, so I'll, so I'll make a motion to appoint Beth and Zach on the Permanent Project Building Committee. I second. Any discussion about this? Mary, let's do a roll call just so we're like super sure. official. Chairman Holter? Yes. Vice Chair Nassio? Yes. Secretary Sienna? Yes. Judy Vianney? Yes. Backway Canada? Yes. Kim Johnson? Yes. So now it's in our minutes, and TC should be able to approve, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. okay. And then I'm going to make a motion to appoint Beth and Vicki for pension. Who's already approved? I'll, I'll second. They're going to have to approve it again, just so let's put the motion in so they can approve it. I just want to get a thing that we'll be sworn in last week. Mm. I just was sworn in like a week ago. Okay, well, we'll just approve it. I'm not going to be sworn in again. I don't think you have to. No, we're just, you know, no, if we're, we're just. If you were sworn in after the election, then I think you're, you're fine. fine. And we're just, but yeah. I don't want them to come back and say to us, you need a motion, and then so, we don't have a meeting for another month. So they made an, a motion. It was seconded. Now we're going to do a roll call vote, and then we should be official. Yeah. Chairman Holter? Yes. Vice Chair Anafrio? Yes. Secretary Vienna? Yes. Judy Vienna? Yes. 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 Yeah. Do you want to do a consent agenda motion and then add this? Sure. A 
I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda of the November 16, 2023 Board of Education meeting with the addition of the superintendent is recommending the appointment of Mr. Robert O'Connor to the position of special ed teacher at Jerome Harrison Elementary School, effective December 18, 2023, to be placed at Master's Step 7 for the 2023-2024 school year per the contract between the North Brantford Board of Education and the North Brantford Federation of Teachers. Call second. We're gonna need a roll call because not everyone was here. Chairman Holzer? Yes. Vice Chair Nakia? Yes. Secretary Tina? Yes. Judy Gannon? Abstain. Jeffrey Canada? Yes. Kim Dawson? Yes. Okay. Yeah, do you need a motion? Put it aside for me. Okay, Scott. Okay. Um, did you make a motion to approve the consent agenda? Mm -hmm. oh, you're all and we included, okay. and we included that motion. To include that motion, yes. All right, I'm waiting to talk. You're having a hard time with taking minutes and <laughs> keep it up. I'm going to take my minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, thank you for uh, approving that hire. The uh, gentleman will start on December 18th with thrill, outstanding background. Um, obviously, in the school year, it's very difficult to find uh, candidates, and we found an excellent fit for our students. So we are thrilled. I want to thank uh, our uh, department, the elementary school, and, and our special ed department they did a wonderful job screening, interviewing, and making this as tight as possible and getting a great candidate. So we're very proud. Uh, the board briefs are um, listed. You had a chance to look through them. If there's any questions, my administrative team is here tonight to answer. Uh, any questions if they've been busy. The student reps mentioned uh, Veterans Day, and I'm not going to speak on Zach's behalf. I'm going to let him do that when we go around later. I know I'm putting on the spot, Zach. Thank you. Uh, we had a wonderful uh, two days, uh, the elementary, middle, and high school. Uh, they did a phenomenal job, uh, and that continues to be such a source of great pride in our community and with our veterans. Uh, so kudos to them, and I know they spoke about that in their briefs. And, uh, everyone's been real busy leading up to the holidays, so thank you to the administrative team. Any questions on the briefs? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, curriculum, I'm gonna ask Dr. Welch to speak to our professional development days. I'm not gonna steal this thunder, but I am gonna uh, share the feedback that I have received uh, and having conversations with a number of the teachers and the format, the way that it was uh, run uh, this year with uh, many of our own staff uh, running um, this the um, professional development throughout the, the district and the buildings, the organization, uh, the professionalism, how united they felt. It was an incredible feel. Uh, and I also want to do a shout out uh, to Sarah and Catherine for the paraprofessionals. They had a, a full um, half day professional development for our paraprofessionals. They absolutely love being included in this and having a part of it and having content specific to them. So they'll speak to that too if they'd like after Carter completes. That's it. Oh, just... <laughs> Take it away. Just, it away. Um, just to piggyback on what Scott shared, we, as you know, we um, structured the two November professional development days a little bit differently. So the Monday day was building based each um, building principal kind of structured the day around building goals. Um, but Tuesday was our opportunity to come together as a K-12 district. We ran a mini conference style event with all staff on the campus of the North Cranford High School and all teachers running sessions. So we had um, 25 sessions and staff were able to choose the session that appealed to them and their goals. Again, all of them were developed, run by our teachers. The feedback is great. I'll share a little bit of it with you right now. Just a couple of the comments. We have um, over 120 responses already in the survey. So that tells you that's a big turnaround on survey response. Some of the comments that was amazing to collaborate, K through 12, the best PD in my 17 years in NB. I learned so much from my colleagues. Every presentation was awesome. The presenters were knowledgeable and prepared. Please, please do this again. We have so much talent in NB. 
it was a great way to learn this um, November. So that's just a matter we have a lot of positive um, feedback on it. So we're definitely thinking about the VDEC committee and I, kind of what we're gonna do next time. So we're gonna analyze the surveys, we're gonna talk about everyone's impressions and kind of start thinking about how we build the same events and make that an annual effort. Um, I can tell you, participating in the lunch, that was another highlight, and then some of the people shared that. They loved it. The administrators were just learners in all the sessions with them, um, so they appreciated that. And the sessions were great. We really do have a lot of talent. Um, so it was, it was a big success. So That's I'm proud great. Of the district for that. Fantastic. Ms. Halberton. Uh, yes, so Kathy and I did uh, professional development for all of the paraprofessionals in the district. It was held at Jerome um, on Monday morning. Um, not all of the pairs attended, but I think we had uh, probably 90% in attendance. Um, the topics that we covered were uh, verbal de-escalation, uh, not verbal de-escalation, I apologize. The afternoon was the PMT training, which is physical management's requirement for the district, but what we focused on was fostering independence. Um, so while, you know, as you know, one of the roles of paraprofessionals is to provide support to students who are identified as having special education needs, as well as to support general education students with support within the classroom setting through SRBI or also RTI. Um, but we also want to encourage them to become independent young adults. Nobody's graduating high school with a paraprofessional. And so working with them on how can we support the R students while also giving them opportunities to create those skills to be successful themselves in the classroom. So I think that went really, really well. Um, and then we also touched upon kind of special ed one-on-one. So what's an IEP, what's an IEP for? Um, and also, you know, we spent a little bit of time in the beginning just getting to know who was in the room, um, not just for ourselves, but also for each other. And I think that was a nice, you know, coming together as a whole and, and building relationships and community. So um, this is the first of, of what I'm going to do many. Um, and it also fulfills part of our obligation to provide 18 hours per year of professional development for Paris. So um, I was really excited to be able to do it. And our exit tickets were, um, in the majority, was very positive, And also giving us some direction for where we're going to go uh, next with our, our follow-up. Great. Thank you. Good to move on. OK. Thank you. <clears throat> Finance report. Okay. Um, we we'll start off with the uh, budget process calendar. It's that time of year mm -hmm. already. Uh, somewhere in your packet, probably towards the back, is the uh, draft version of the calendar. Um, just want you to take a look at the proposed dates for the uh, Board of Ed workshops. And um, we are scheduled to bring that <laughs> budget to you. Um, on February, February 22nd will be um, when, when hopefully it is officially adopted and then we should have it to the town um, by February 26th. So when do you need the board? Because there's so, a lot of dates. It's the first of the eighth, right? Yeah, so uh, January 18th is uh, the initial review. But that's our board meeting. But that's a board meeting, okay. correct. And then the <coughs> workshop is February 1st and the 8th, and then the 22nd is already a board meeting. Right. So there's just two new dates there. Okay. The 1st and the 8th. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we're... And it's the 15th as our board meeting, right? No, it's 18th. 18th in January, 22nd in February. February. Ah, thank you. Okay. Good on the meeting dates. Yeah. Okay. So I will need a um, approval, please. And then I'll make a motion to approve the budget workshop dates of Thursday, February 1st, 2024, and Thursday, February 8th, 2024, at 6.30 p.m. I'll second. All in favor? Um, thank you. Okay, on to the financial report. Um, you'll see a couple new things in the um, financial report this evening. Um, 
First of all, of all the Fund 25, as you requested uh, last month, is in here. It is um, detailed on the back of the summary sheet, so you can see exactly what um, where the expenditures were and what they were. Um, but you asked for the line by line, the financial report uh, from the system, and so that is in the packet. Please, please feel free to uh, look that over and if you have any questions. Um, let me know. The two, ex I'm going to say exciting, <laughs> um, but the two exciting things in this packet are year-over-year -year comparisons, um, and this is new. It's something uh, new that our financial system is now able to do. Um, so what I did was I took a snapshot in time, July to October 2023, and compared it to July um, through October 2024. Um, you'll see that uh, for both the general fund, uh, which is nice because you can get an idea of the way things are trending. Um, but the more exciting piece in there is we actually did it uh, for the cafeteria as well. And um, as you know, cafeteria is dependent on our revenue. Um, so you can actually compare the revenue and expenditures from that period, July through October of last year, as compared to this year. And as you can see on the reports, um, the, the difference is, is drastic. Um, our revenue has gone up and our expenditures have gone down. Um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Christina Tom Premier, our cafeteria director. She's done a phenomenal job and a lot of hard work. Um, and you can definitely see it in the numbers. Um, so I thought that was a fun thing, fun thing in my world, but. Um, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, hopefully you can. This, is, you know, this really is great. It, mm -hmm. I mean, it tells the story. It just, there's, yeah. you know, it, it's right there. I'm glad. All I'm going to say is I'm a big pain when I want something. I'm like a dog with a bone. And I'll I will tell you, <laughs> and I cannot be happier with their turnaround of food service from both like a student perspective on how it tastes, how it looks, how it feels, but from a finance perspective as well, I mean, this is a huge win. And kudos to the board yes. that you brought this forward and this was something that yes. you felt strongly about and we had, we had a decision to make with the options and mm -hmm. you chose the obviously a very good option and the most important part that you said the kids are happy mm -hmm. the, the kids are happy right yep that's why we do it yeah. so, thank you board yeah absolutely this is Great. such good news it is she should get like an award or something <laughs> i'll figure out there's something i mean right because it's it's tangible turnaround, right? Yeah. You can see it, you can feel it, it's, yeah. right? Okay, I'll stop now. So that's all I have, unless you have any questions. Um, there was a lot of information there, so again, reach out if there's anything you want more. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll need a minute to okay. go through it. That was big and easy, like, and, right? So that's easy, but the line items are a little bit. Right. Yeah. Can you just say, are we are we in any trouble anywhere? Are the unit ventilators in? Are is our like fund twenty five almost down? Like, give me the hot topics so that I might hear about walking down the street. So there's, I think, two hundred and seventy nine thousand um, left in fund twenty nine. Okay. Um, so we certainly have a nice little, you know. Um, <laughs> Balance there to do some things this okay. year or, or cover any emergency okay. that may come up. Um, and again, with the general fund, we're just, you know, it's the beginning of the heating season. Um, yeah. You know, we're just, it, it's still really early in the okay. fiscal year, so we're, we're okay. Okay. But, you know, we're always cautious at this time. Mm -hmm. And just because finance makes me think of capital projects. Is there anything on our capital projects list that we were awarded that's not done? I don't want to hear about those unit ventilators anymore. Yeah. I'm so darn sick of those unit ventilators. You have no idea. I think he was going to finish those over April, didn't he? Yeah, he those, those are all scheduled to be done throughout the year. So when we go into budget this year, I'm going to hear about the unit ventilators. Yeah. That they're, right, being put in. Again. So we'll be It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. For like four years. I think for four years I've heard about the unit ventilators. <laughs> 
Don't even do that. Oh my. Honestly, we're gonna like, get this way, and then we're gonna have to do it's, the whole. Is it quality air? Is that what unit ventilators do? Heat, cooling, heat and cooling. They're dual, dual functioning. So the electrical piece was the big piece, and they've been working on that. And then, um, okay. But yes, there is a schedule. John has the schedule for when, over the breaks, he needs. We should to lead with that. Chip away. Okay. And is there any other capital project? Uh, no, some paving. Gonna manage that, that, that they paving that we want, but there's no money. So. Are those uh, are those stored in like a yes dry storage dry storage area with, yeah. with Franny yeah good, good Franny has those in dry storage that's... that that would have just added insult to injury well you know it's, yeah. yeah okay so the paving we didn't have covered so no we didn't that's something that done. will come up there some of our buildings were looking so those are big capital things. that we yeah. want okay That'll but anything we were awarded we have no. spent and done we're good okay all right that's all I got on that. Okay, we're good on my porch updates. Okay, calendar, calendar. we've all been waiting for. So I'm going to pass around the proposed 24 25 calendar. There are notes on the side, but the important dates are the start and end dates. We had data from surrounding towns to try to align as the best that we possibly could for our staff. So we do start on the 28th of August. Is that earlier than normal? Yeah. Well, that's, that's usual. We do the two PD days before, and it's usually that last yes. week of August. Mm -hmm. And then we have the second off. So we're in for three days. We have a long weekend. Then we come back and do four days, and then we do five. Everyone seems to love that. Yep. So first it was the warm-up, and then the four-day week, the following week, and then a full five-day week. Um, the April break, uh, we, the, we take the week of Good Friday, um, so it's included in that, that week being off. Um, you'll see that on April 18th mm -hmm. is Good Friday, so we have to start from the 14th to the 18th. We come back on the Monday after. And the Christmas break uh, is a long break, and we are off a full week, the 23rd, Christmas is on a Wednesday. So the conversation, do you bring everyone in on that no. Monday to now so we can do that? And then they come back on um, the Wednesday. That is a long break. It's a long break. Wow. It's, it's all how Christmas falls. It's, it's, it's crazy, but yeah, when it hits the middle of the week, you know, because Monday. if it was on Thursday, you could bring the kids on Monday, Monday Tuesday. Tuesday. Right. Mm -hmm. Should they come back on a Thursday? No, they come back on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm like, you're making the kids come back on New Year's Day? No, no, that no, no, is no. me. No. 12 <laughs> days. That's a nice long It's break. a long break. Yeah. yeah. But we're still out on June 9th in a perfect yeah, world without snow days. Yeah. So. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's um, nice. It's, this uh, for March, there's two, was it 12th and 19th? Those, so those are parent conferences for one, two of the schools and then the half day. So we, we released um, the elementary schools so that they can parent conference with parents um, from whatever their release time is, one o'clock on. And then the other date is that monthly one for a half day that we do. And that happens twice with the parent conferences for the elementary schools. How long have we been doing those early dismissal PD days? We've been That's doing them for years, but we yeah. just cut them back from two a month to one a month. One a month. Yeah, okay. yeah, so we cut those in half. Recently or before I just, just no, just this year. Yeah, right. Okay, I remember seeing more of them. Yeah, like, just yeah. to be yeah. every yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Twice a month. Cut them back. Yeah. All right. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So there's more full days. Mm -hmm. And October 14th is Columbus Day. It feels like that's late. I don't have a calendar for next year. Isn't it generally around the eighth? Uh, it's the it's um, October 14th. It is late. Yeah. It's later this yeah. year. Yeah, okay. it's October 14th. Thank you. Up. Those folks are say. handy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like, 181 days. Um, you know, like we said, weather pending. Oh, great. last day of school is uh, on a Monday. I'll make a motion. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the 2024 to 2025 calendar as provided. I'll Second. Say. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. How manager Okay. Uh, there's there's really nothing to report um, with town hall other than um, you know the building project and, and we've had uh, communications and, and signed off on some things with with our architect between central office and town hall <coughs> so we've been communicating along those lines and, and it's actually quiet right now with, with everything other than the building project so we're in good shape there um, we're two weeks ahead on the renovation project right now. The weather has been spectacular, and it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. So every day that we capture that the, the men can obviously work in good weather, we're getting further ahead of it. So um, I, I did take some pictures. I wanted to send them to you today. I didn't get to it, but the um, block is going up. The, the the tin roof is on the gymnasium, so there's it's really starting to take take shape. And once that's buttoned up, that that will really move. Mm -hmm. So, good. fingers are crossed. I don't know if there's anything you want to add on. You'll get the reports. Building? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, no. Nothing? The, nothing substantial. I think the gym floor is going to be poured in the spring. Is the last note I have on the top of the gym. And I figured when it's warm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want yeah, it to it'll it'll be warm. buttoned up and controlled and the whole deal. Right. So, All right. Nothing else. Okay. What do we got? Committee reports? There's no negotiations. There's no, no budget, no curriculum. Pension, Beth? Um, it's not until the 20th. Okay, perfect. So, policy note, is this not for right now. Building committee, you reported out. Communication, nothing. New business. Zach, would you like to talk about? Oh, veteran, okay, yeah, no worries, yeah. Or, I'm sorry, that's good of the that's board. That's good of the board, yeah. yeah. So we'll move on. I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be good.